Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see a demo example on update date input function. What it does is it basically updates the date in the input date widget. So if we see this, this example, we have got a date a input date widget which shows 6th of May as the date. And if I click on this button, it will move the current date which show which is showing as 6th May by 7 days. And now you can see 13th May. If I further click on this, it will add on another 7 days to it. 20th of May and so on. It, there is another button called reset. If I click on this, it will reset the date to 6th May. So pretty much based on an event, we can control the dates, we can update the dates. We are in our studio and we'll begin with, with loading the shiny package. In the UI section, we have some headings and then we've got an action button with input ID button and this is to add seven days to our date. Then we've got another action button. This is our reset button with input ID reset. And then we have got date input widget with input ID is as in date and the value is system dot date. So whatever is the current date of the system, that's what is going to show there when the app loads. In the server section, we've got two event handlers. We've got the first observe event. This is for the update button. So it will check on input dollar button. If that button is clicked, then update the date. We will use update date input function. The first argument here is going to be session. Then the input date ID. So which is in date and what value do we want? We want seven days to be added to the date which is there in the date input widget. So we'll say input dollar in date plus seven. So whatever date is there, it will add seven to that. We've got the other observer event here and this is for the reset button. So it looks for any change, a click on that input dollar reset. If the button is clicked, then update the date. We use update date input function. So the first argument is again session and the date input ID, which is in date and what value we want. If we click on reset button, we want the value to be reset as system date. 